Hi, I'm Miller Ellingsworth. This video is taken from a longer session we used internally at IBM to explain RSS in general and how to use it with various internal IBM sites as well as the Jazz.net forum. There's an occasional reference to material presented earlier, which isn't in this version of the video, but that in no way detracts from the usefulness of the demonstration with respect to Jazz.net. While one of the examples uses the RSS OWL reader, the same basic approach applies to most RSS clients. Of particular interest to the Jazz.net community, I think, is the example using the Newsreader widget to track forum questions in a Rational Team concert or other collaborative lifecycle management product dashboard. While I expect you are familiar with Jazz.net and the forum, maybe you've been away for a while. In the summer of 2012, we switched from our older forum software to a more modern Q&A model, with tagging and voting and many of the features users have come to expect. Since the questions can be tagged, and those tags easily searched on, there are no longer different sections for the various products. It's just one big pile of questions and answers. As more products have been added under the Jazz.net umbrella, the pile has grown. This is great news as it means people are using our products and trust us to help them using the forum as our meeting place. But it makes it more challenging to connect a person with the right knowledge and experience with the person who has a question. Normal forum browsing will only honor one tag at a time, and there are only a few filtering and sorting options. Many of the products have many subcomponents, so browsing isn't really targeted enough to efficiently work the forum. Fortunately, there are good advanced search mechanisms built into the forum that can help. Unfortunately, you may not know about them. You can't see the advanced search options until after you've done a search. Even then, there's just a link that you may or may not take notice of. Once you know about those options, you can use the search box to string them together into a query that will return a specific collection of items. However, there's currently no way to save that search to use again later, unless you use an RSS feed. Every successful search will return a collection of matching questions as well as an RSS feed to update that set of questions. Copy that link and drop it into an RSS feed reader and you can rerun that query and see the updated results anytime you want. Let's see how we can put these things together. First, let's take a look at the search options. Certainly one of the most useful is being able to search on multiple tags. Whenever a user asks a question, they're asked to select a product it is about, at least one, as well as describing the type of issue, for example, usage or configuration or administration. So even just searching on a product tag and issue tag together, you'll get a better set of results than browsing ever could. Multiple tags are always anded together, so you cannot use a single feed to look for Rational Team Concert or Rational Quality Manager questions, but it would find anything that was tagged with both. Especially useful if you're trying to find questions that need answers is the is answered option. Standard Boolean stuff. One means it has at least one answer, zero means it has no answers. The is accepted option takes that a step further and will only return questions that do or don't have accepted answers. When a user finds an answer that helps them move forward, they're asked to mark it as the accepted answer. This helps us know that we've actually given them an answer that works. Not only does this give the responder some credit for coming up with the right answer, but it gives the next person with the same question confidence in that answer. The other options can also come in handy for special cases. There's no date searching option, but if you're looking for older questions, looking for one with a significant number of views will help. Or if you've been helping a particular customer with an issue, you might want to set up a short term stream to watch for additional questions from them. As noted, you can also add full text queries to the end of the set of options if you're looking for some very specific words in the question or title. One more little piece before we make some real feeds and install them into our readers. The default number of items returned by the Jazz.net forum for an advanced search query in an RSS feed is 30. Depending on how tight your query is, maybe that's not enough items. If you want more items, you'll need to add another option to the RSS URL in order to get them. Adding ampersand length equal and some value less than a thousand will get you up to that many items, depending on how many are available. So let's look at some samples. Say you're an ace at extending RTC. You understand how to write and contribute advisors and are good at working with work item attribute customizations in JavaScript. You also want to give other people a chance to answer. That's how everyone learns. So you decide to look for Rational Team Concert tag and extending tags and you want questions that have been seen by at least 50 people already and still don't have an answer. It's probably one you can nail, and it's time someone stepped up and got it. The slide shows our options and also shows the structure of the RSS URL. You can even write the RSS URLs by hand. I've done quite a few that way, since it's a bit faster than typing it into the forum search box and then copying out the link. The first written out version shows the base URL, if you will, to do a search. 
return as an RS, RSS feed, and start the question. Then you just add in terms, being careful to URL encode spaces as percent %20. But let's go do it at the form anyway and install an RSSL client. So here's a search page at jazz.net after doing a search that didn't return any results. You can see that here's where the advanced search options are. So let's go ahead and do our, our query. And we're going to do rational team concert and extending and views 50 is answered zero. And we'll click search. And there's our set. We can see the RSS URLs there, and it shows us our query. Right-click that, copy the link address, and we switch to RSS Owl. There's our other feed from before. We go through the same basic process, new feed. It picks up our URL from the copy buffer, so that's already there. We can set a name for it, and we'll say, uh, RTC extending unanswered. And we'll make a new folder for it since we don't want to mix it with our RS, RCS feeds. And we'll just say jazz.net forum and finish. And we'll go off and look for those. And we can click on it. And there are items. Just like before, we can click on them. We get a nice summary. We can click on the link to go back and look at that particular item. There you go. But if you're paying attention, you might have noticed that in our feed reader, we only got 30 items. So let's fix that. We can go in and we can update the properties on our link. And we can go to the end of it. And we can add our ampersand length equal, and let's tell we want 99 items. And sure, we're going to get all new ones again anyway. And that's how we expand the list of items by adding the length parameter onto the end of the URL. So let's go back and look at another example. Just to be clear, this is a hypothetical example. But suppose you work on RQM and you've recently made some improvements in how configuration is done. But not everyone is using the same versions or has caught up and learned how to use the new options yet. So you want to look for RQM questions about configuration where there isn't an accepted answer yet. Because that could be that someone's given an answer that, that's not correct. And so we want to be able to find those questions, review them, and make sure we steer people towards the new capabilities. So back in the Jez.net forum, we'll go in and enter our new query options. Rational quality manager and configuration and is accepted zero. And if I type that all correctly, we should get a set of answers or at least question. There we are. And we'll grab the link address again. But this time, since it's something our team wants to watch out for, let's put this one into a dashboard in RTC. We'll go through the same process we did with the other feed. We'll add a widget. We'll go for a feed widget. There's only the one news widget right now. We'll add it. Close the catalog. We'll change the settings. We'll copy in the feed URL we got from jazz.net. We'll increase the number of items we want. And we'll make sure that if we open an item, it'll open in a new window. It takes it a moment to process, and there's our list of questions. And similar to before, we can hover and see a lot more information about them. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. As always, the best place for questions is the jazz.net forum. If you have specific questions that you don't think belong on the forum, feel free to send an email to millardy at us.ibm.com, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can.